Hi everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so very much for stopping by and watching. So today I've made three Halloween cards using Pink Fresh Studios Adore Alpha die set. Now you could use any um, alphabet die set for, for these types of cards. Um, I wanted to make cards that were Halloween themed but without using necessarily ha traditional Halloween images. So I came up with these three cards. I had a lot of fun making them. Um, I hope that you enjoy them, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my first card, doing some ink blending, and I'm gonna be um, using Distress Oxide inks in Squeezed Lemonade and Carved Pumpkin. Basically, I want this to look like um, the candy corn colors, and I just, I think that is so cute and so pretty. So I'm going to blend those together. Now, off camera, um, I used Pink Fresh Studios Adore Alpha die set and cut, die cut a bunch of um, letters, well, for the word boo, because the word boo is going to be on all three of these cards. So I cut them out in black and in white cardstock and I cut out multiples of them because I will be um, stacking them together to give some dimension. If you did not want to do it that way, you definitely could um, cut them out using fun foam and give them some dimension that way. So I'm just blending this. I'm doing it into thirds. Obviously, I'm going to leave the top part of this white because that's the color of a candy corn. So I'm just blending all of that together. Something I did at the top between the carved pumpkin and the white cardstock was I used a clear embossing powder, which you'll see here in just a second. I'm not sure that it did a whole lot. I, I did feel like it kind of just softened that edge from the orange to the white. Now this is Honeybee Stamps deckle edged A2 um, A2 dies, excuse me, and I love these deckle edge th uh, frames, and I need to use them more often. I don't use them enough, and I really love them. I'm just deciding here which size I want to use. If I wanted to use the smaller size or the big size, so I just needed to see if the word boo would fit. I decided to go with that second smaller size. Um, for my card. So I'm going to run that through my uh, Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cut machine. Obviously any die cut machine will work for this. And I'm just going to cut that through. I'm just lining up and deciding how much white and how much um, squeezed lemonade I wanted at the bottom. Then I took that bigger sized one that I had originally and I am using um, Lawn Fawn's Black Licorice cardstock and I'm going to run that through my die cut machine as well. So now I've got all my background panels cut and I have got three um, letters here, well, three of each letter. And I am gonna stack them all together. So I'm just gonna, I'm gluing them with Lawn Fawn's glue tube. I'm gluing two of them together first. Um, and I'm gonna put those aside because for the top layer, the top letters that will go on top of these stacked um, alphabet letters, will I'm gonna run those through my die cut machine using a spider webbed embossing plate. So I'm just going to kind of line those top letters that I have not glued together yet. Those, so this is just one layer of cardstock. I'm going to run that through my die cut machine. Then I'm also going to take that black background panel piece that I die cut and run that through as well. So they both have this spider web look. I have got quite a few embossing folders and I definitely do not use them enough and I think that is definitely a challenge I'm going to give myself is to pull those out and start using them because I forget how much fun they are and I forget how much they add character to your card. So now I'm going to glue the rest of those together. That top one that was embossed, I'm going to glue it to the rest of my um, letters and put that aside to dry really a lot of fun. I just love the color combo of this of this card specifically. I think that's my most favorite one. So I'm going to adhere all the layers together. Um, I'm, this is an A2 size card so I'm going to adhere my embossed background to an A2 sized card base. Then I'm going to adhere my inked background slightly at a tilt. And you guys this is so funny because when I started gluing these letters on everything was tilted and wonky oh my gosh I felt like everything was crooked and I could not get it straight but I did decide to start with the center 
letter, it just is a little bit easier to center that and then work out from there. If I was to start from the beginning or the end, I think it would be not good. Like the spacing wouldn't be good, if that makes sense. So I'm going to adhere all of these down. And remember, these letters now are also embossed, which we're going to highlight that in just a minute. And it really turns out really super cute. But I'm checking to see, like, is are things level? And I, it just was messing with me. It was so funny. But I think I got it. Get those nice and glued down and let those dry. So what I'm going to see now, you can see the embossing there where it's lifted. And it is the spider web. So I'm going to take my glossy accents and I'm going to apply it just to the raised section. So that part of it will definitely stand out. It'll be nice and high glossed and you will definitely notice it. So I'm just going to go over all of that because this card is quite simple, you guys. There's not a whole lot to it. So this will definitely be an eye catcher. So can you see that now? And doesn't that look so pretty and so fun? It totally brings that to life. So now I'm going to ink up the sentiment and it's going to say, have a fabulous day. And I liked it because it had the play on the word boo in the center of it. And I am just stamping that out in distress oxide ink in carved pumpkin. And I'm going to just trim that out. And we are going to adhere that to the front of the, of the center O. And I'm using a little bit of foam tape. Now my glossy, glossy accents dries pretty quick. It's not dry here, so I'm just being really careful when I'm laying this down. And of course, I can't tell if anything is straight again, so I'm getting out my big old T ruler and lining that up because that's the only thing I know that's going to be straight. It, the T ruler hooks to the side of my uh, Tim Holtz glass media mat, so you know it's perfectly straight. So we've got, I've got that lined up and then I'm going to use Nouveau Crystal Drops in Ebony Black and I'm just going to make a few drops here and there and this card will be done. Really simple, but I think it is such a cute Halloween card. It definitely has the feel of Halloween. And so that one is all done. Super cute. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Now I did this background, but then I moved on to another card. So I, this is Lawn Fawn's Black Licorice cardstock, and I am prepping it with my anti-static tool. Um, this is Simon Says Stamp. It's a polka dot stencil, and I'm taking Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink, and I am inking it up really, really good because I'm going to be using some white embossing powder on this for the polka dots. And then I'm going to heat that up. We're going to heat emboss that that image and it'll be great um i would have liked us i don't have a smaller polka dot background and i think a smaller would have been even cuter this still turned out really cute this is kind of for my witchy card which i think would be really darling just making sure i've got a good coverage of embossing powder for big and for whole backgrounds like this, I like to use my tool in one, hold it down on my glass media mat and heat it up and it works great. Nothing gets ruined. My fingers don't get hot. Anytime I try to hold an image like this with my tweezers, it does not work out for me. So this is how I like to do this. Okay, so putting that background aside, I am starting the next background and I'm sorry, you guys, I just kind of tend to work this way. I kind of go wonky and all over the place. So this is um, Just Stitching Double Rectangles by Lawn Fawn. Um, I've had them for a while and I haven't got to use them and I keep forgetting that I need to use them. So I pulled them out for this card and I really liked how this turned out. So again, another little bit of wonky. I think there's something about Halloween that things can be a little wonky and it totally works. So I'm laying those out, running them through my die cut machine and it doesn't cut anything. It just has got this double stitching. And I think it's really super cute. Then this cardstock is Carved Pumpkin. I think that's what it's called. Something like that. Um, I will definitely have that in my description, you guys. And I just trimmed it down to fit that centerpiece. Um, I also used Ranger's Gray Tinted Embossing Powder. Nope, Embossing Ink, excuse me. Stamped these cute little eyeballs all the way around. I think it's from Lawn Fawn's Tiny Halloween Set. And I am using Lawn Fawn's Glow in the Dark Embossing Powder. And I'm just starting from the back and heating them up. So these cute little eyes all around this frame will be lit up. And it's just in between the two frames. It's not on the outside edge. And when I checked this out in um, my dark bathroom, it turned out really super cute. So I'm going to take those same eyes 
and I am going to be stamping them in um, some other Distress Oxide inks. I've got Wilted Violet, um, Twisted Citron, I think I did a Carved Pumpkin, I did Squeezed Lemonade, and I'm just kind of going all over the letter Boo, the word Boo, excuse me, and stamping these little eyeballs everywhere. This I will, the, the word Boo, I did double stack on that one. No, I am corrected. Let me, oh no, let me correct myself. I did it, I did one, and then I took the outline in black that comes with this alpha die set, which I really love. You get the solid letters and then you get an outline. So I did this, um, a single layer, and then I will do an outline with the black. I think my original thought was I was going to do a double layer of this, and I changed my mind because I felt like the black was needed. It was a little too bland on this card. So the black outline really, I think feel like brought more attention to the word boo. So again, I started in the center and working my way out to kind of get things pretty even. I'm not a girl who likes to measure. I'm just kind of an eyeballer. And I think that's kind of the charm of handmade cards for the most part, as long as it's not too wonky. <laughs> so I've got those glued down and I just used a tape runner for that, but I will use liquid glue because this, these little outside frames are so thin and delicate. And so I'm going to glue those around. And they also have center pieces for the um, letter B and the letters and the letter O. And I just cut out a lot. I have a lot of extra and I stick it in with this die set to save because you never know if you're going to need more of those later and it's less you have to cut. So I just like to save all the extra letters that I've already die cut before. That's already looking better. And then once we get these center pieces in, it really looks fantastic having that black really brought everything to life. Because for the most part, it's a pretty kind of chill card. It's not crazy colorful. So just adding all those little center pieces in. And then we're gonna stamp a sentiment. And we also need to stamp a little sentiment that says that this card glows in the dark so your recipient knows that it glows and they're not sure what yet is gonna glow. But doesn't that look great? So I'm stamping the sentiment directly on and it says you are spooktacular and that is from Lawn Fawn. It's either from the Tiny Halloween or Spooky Village. I think it might be from Spooky Village. And then this is um, Lawn Fawn's Lights Out and it says I glow in the dark and I stamped that in Hickory Smoke ink right below and then I'm mounting this on a purple cardstock. This is cardstock I had in my stash but any great purple cardstock would work obviously. So I'm attaching that to an A2 size card base and the white panel with the word boo is also trimmed down a little bit smaller and then that's it. Nothing else needed. I think it's a great little card. Okay, so now we're going to go on to this next card that we already did that polka dot background on. Now, this is um, Lawn Fawn's Tiny Gift Box Holiday Hats add-on. I just wanted the little hats, um, and so it has like a Santa hat, like a winter hat, and then it's got this cute witch's hat. So I, I die cut that out of white cardstock. And out of Lawn Fawn's Tiny Halloween, there is two sizes of bats, and I am stamping both those on the letter, on the word boo. I keep wanting to say letter. What is my problem? On the word boo. And this is double layered. This is the one that I actually did double layer of the letters. So on the top layer, I'm just stamping it in, um, oh, Rangers Archival Ink Jet Black. It's in Jet Black Archival Ink. So those are all stamped and done. Now I'm making a little... I want to say ribbon, just, you know, um, I can't even think of the word I'm trying to use. As you can see what it is, black and purple over the polka dot background. The polka dot background is trimmed slightly smaller than an A2 size card base. Oh, a panel. That's the word I'm trying to think of. A gray and black panel. And then we've got this white frame around, and I think that looks great. And I think the purple is classic witch feel, and so I wanted this card to kind of have a witchy feel. So I'm going to glue down my letters. 
And I've got this cute little hat. I haven't colored it yet because I'm gonna be using some liquid pearls to color this. So I'm gluing it on. And in Lawn Fawn's Tiny Halloween, it's got a cute little spider hanging down. And I'm gonna be stamping that and die cutting that. I'm finishing putting on the kind of the ribbon and the buckle on that goes on this hat. Obviously it's all white so you can't tell any difference right now. So I'm coloring the buckle in with my black glaze pen. And so that'll be nice and shiny. Then I'm gonna be using Liquid Pearls in Blackberry and I'm gonna be coloring in the whole hat. And this has got that pearlized effect and that's what's really awesome about Liquid Pearls. I really do like it. If you don't have Liquid Pearls, obviously Nouveau Crystal Drops would be just as fantastic in whatever color purple you like. So I'm gonna color that in. And then on the little ribbon part, I'm gonna be using um, Ranger's Stickles in Mermaid Tail. And it's kind of a bluish purple, but it goes perfect. So it's nice and glittery instead of a solid color. And now we've got this really cute witch's hat. So here is the little spider. I put a tiny piece of foam tape behind this little spider and a little bit of liquid glue, which I really didn't need because <laughs> the liquid pearls was still kind of wet. So I'm going to have that hang down from the hat. And at this point, I knew I needed a sentiment and I knew I was going to use one. Um, I had planned on keeping it all in purple and black, but I felt like it needed a little pop of color. So I am using Distress Oxide Ink and Carved Pumpkin but obviously any orange ink would work fabulous. And so stamping that out, I'm gonna trim that up. I actually had to do it twice because the ink wasn't dry and I smeared it. And I, I'm sure things like that happen to you and it drives me nutty. But I'm putting that across kind of towards the bottom of the word boo. And then I'm using liquid pearls in pumpkin and adding a little bit of orange, few little dots around just for a little bit more color. And I felt like this card was perfect. How great are these three cards? And now you can see that and you can see how that witch's hat is nice and shiny. Isn't that fantastic? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed this card video. I hope that it has inspired you to create something super fun. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for always watching. I, if you like what you've seen, please thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, please. I love all of your comments. Um, I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you nothing, but it does continue to help me to create. Thank you and I'll be back. Bye.